For centuries, people have been constructing edifices in various forms and for diverse purposes. Some of these structures are filled with mysteries that challenge our understanding of science and facts. Join us as we explore these incredible structures whose how and why of construction remains a subject of wonder. Sacsayhuaman Street If your travels ever take you to South America, there's a place you absolutely must visit, the fortress of Sacsayhuaman. For easy pronunciation, Sacsayhuaman is pronounced like sexy woman. This fortress sits atop a hill overlooking the city of Cusco in Peru. It consists of massive stone walls and complex constructions. It served both military and ceremonial purposes. Sacsayhuaman played a significant role in Inca ceremonies and rituals. Inti Raimi, the festival of the sun, is just one of the festivals conducted at the fortress. The strategic location of the complex acts as a viewpoint to monitor the surroundings. Its walls are designed to deter potential invaders and demonstrate Inca superiority. The fortress comprises three large zigzag walls made of huge limestone and diorite blocks. Some of these blocks weigh over 100 tons and the blocks are meticulously shaped and locked together without the use of mortar. Not even a blade can fit between the stones, even centuries later. This perfectly designed complex stonework is often likened to a puzzle. When Spanish conquerors arrived in South America in the 16th century, they marveled at the size of Sacsayhuaman. However, they later dismantled parts of the structure, repurposing the stones for colonial buildings. Despite these efforts, the fortress continues to captivate visitors today. Gobekli Tepe The Gobekli Tepe archaeological site is a historical place located 18 kilometers northeast of Şanlıurfa, Turkey, near the village of Örençik. It was discovered in 1963 during a joint research project by Istanbul and Chicago universities and was named the v 2 Neolithic Settlement. However, this significant area was truly explored with excavations beginning in 1995. Gürbe is a discovery that causes us to reassess history, changing the information accepted for centuries. This settlement area, used for religious purposes, contains multiple temples. Gobekli Tepe is considered the world's oldest place of worship and also the largest. This area is viewed as the faith center of the Neolithic age, where geophysical surveys have identified more than 20 monumental structures with six uncovered so far. These structures have similar forms with T-shaped pillars up to six meters high featuring the oldest stone carvings of the Neolithic period. These images reflect the artistic abilities of our ancestors, including three-dimensional animal depictions. Professor Dr. Klaus Schmidt, who led the excavation works for 20 years, explicitly states that these T-shaped pillars represent human figures. Some of the findings from Gobekli Tepe are exhibited in the Shanlurfa Museum. Although Gobekli Tepe has brought many new pieces of information to light, it is still filled with unanswered mysteries. These questions include who built these temples, how columns weighing tons were transported and erected here, why they were buried under soil and stone, and the exact purpose these temples served. One thing is certain, the research on Gobekli Tepe will continue to make significant contributions to human history, and radically change what is known to date. Riddles House The House of Riddles is enveloped in a chilling tale filled with history and mystery. Located in Palm Beach County, Florida, this house was established in the early 1900s. It was the home of the notable Carl Riddle in the region and has gained notoriety as a haunted abode. The tale turns eerie as several deaths, including that of Riddle's wife, take place within the home's walls. Over the years, the house transitioned through various owners and served diverse purposes. 
one being a funeral home. These associations with Deeth only augmented the enigma surrounding the house. Reported paranormal encounters by visitors and staff have fostered a widespread belief in its haunting. Ghostly seatings and unexplained phenomena attributed to the spirits of Carl Riddle and his wife form the foundation of its creepy reputation. Carl, post his wife's demise, is said to have committed suicide in this house alongside an employee named Joseph. Legends say their spirits are observed wandering within the house. The horrifying aftermath of their mysterious deaths left a shocking scene. Their suspended bodies remained for days, having met death by broken necks. Rumors amongst the locals include tales of Joseph's animosity towards men, leading to an unsettling aura for any male setting foot in the house. Today, the House of Riddles stands as a popular tourist site and is a part of the yesteryear village, showcasing Florida's historical panorama. Regardless of the validity of the paranormal experiences as real supernatural events or merely the potency of advertising, the House of Riddles continues to captivate visitors with a narrative woven with history, enigma and inexplicable incidents. What are your thoughts about all these venues? Do not forget to share your ideas. Sumela Monastery Sumela Monastery is a historical monastery and church located in Turkey. The monastery is situated on the western slopes of the Meryem Ana Deresi and is approximately 1,050 meters above sea level. This monastery, carved into the cliffs, has served as a significant place of worship in the past and its atmosphere is still enchanting. The name of the Sumela Monastery comes from the word Melaz, which means black. A black depiction of Mary in the monastery is considered the source of this name. The known history of the monastery goes back to the Byzantine Empire. Initially established during the reign of Byzantine Emperor Theodosius I, the monastery was restored in the 6th century and has maintained its present appearance since the 13th century. The main sections of the Sumela Monastery include the main rock church, various chapels, kitchen, student rooms, guest house, library and holy spring. These structures are spread over a considerable area. At the entrance of the monastery, a large aqueduct, which is believed to have carried water, rests against the slope. Sumela Monastery is on UNESCO's tentative list of World Heritage Sites and offers visitors an atmosphere where unique historical and natural beauties coexist. Be sure... Coral Castle What would you do when your heart is broken? Would you cry into your pillow, binge eat junk food, or watch motivational videos. Some people have gone to incredible lengths. Meet Coral Castle. This extraordinary engineering marvel is a limestone structure located in the city of Homestead, Florida, and the story of its emergence is quite intriguing. In the 1920s, a Latvian immigrant named Edward Leeds Kalnin, who stood only five feet tall and weighed just a hundred pounds, single-handedly carved and built this castle from a 1,100 tons of coral rock. Leeds Kalnin often worked in secrecy, mostly at night, and without the aid of modern machinery, he shaped and moved these massive coral blocks. The structure comprises large stones weighing several tons, and these stones have been carved into wall plates, tables, chairs, a crescent moon, a water fountain, and a sundial. Within Coral Castle, you'll find a 9-ton gate that moves with a touch of the finger and a 20-ton obelisk. Leeds Kalnin claimed he dedicated the castle to his lost love, Agnes Scuffs, who broke off their engagement just a day before their wedding in Latvia. He referred to her as his Sweet Sixteen and believed the castle's construction was a testament to his immortal love for her. The methods Leedskalnin used to create this structure and move the enormous coral rocks have spurred theories of secret knowledge. Some have even claimed he possessed techniques against gravity or magnetic manipulation. 
The motivation behind this extraordinary effort remains a significant topic of debate. What could be the real reason? In our culture, love can move mountains. Could Leeds Kalnin have carved rocks for his love? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. Let's hope that his former fiancée has seen what was made for her, all resultant from a broken heart. Also known as Rock Gate Park, Coral Castle started to attract tourists during Leeds Kalnin's lifetime and continues to draw visitors today. Yonaguni Monument For our next mysterious structure, we need to dive into a sea in Japan. The Yonaguni Monument was discovered in 1987 by a local diver. This site comprises large rectangular limestone blocks lined in a step-like formation on the ocean floor. While some researchers argue that the monument is a natural geological formation shaped by underwater currents and erosion over thousands of years, a large majority suggest its exact angles, flat surfaces and symmetry could indicate human construction. Those of this opinion claim the Yonaguni monument could be a sunken ancient city or temple dating back thousands of years. The debate over the origins of the Yonaguni Monument raises questions about the possibility of advanced civilizations in prehistoric times and potential connections between different regions of the world. Critics of the idea that it's a man-made structure point to a lack of conclusive evidence attributing the formation to natural geological processes. As the debate over its origins continues, its mysterious allure makes it a popular site for divers and tourists alike. Kachidikiti Kachidikiti, in Georgia's splendid green landscape, stands as a colossal rock and a testament to humanity's quest for spiritual peace even in the most extreme locations. The church situated atop this impressive natural structure exemplifies the extent to which individuals can go to materialize their beliefs and values. What makes the tale of Kachi Dikiti even more striking is its historical journey. From its pagan origins to its Christian transformation, this pillar has been a symbol of spirituality for different cultures at different times. Its abandonment during the Soviet era points to the shifts in religious and political climates that can affect the status of a sacred site. However, the 1990s saw successful reconstruction efforts from the restoration of the ancient church to the rebuilding of the Iron Ladder led by priest Maxim Kavtaradze. Today, Kachi Dikiti is not just a religious monument. Those who ascend to its summit can find peace and enchantment against the backdrop of the breathtaking view of Georgia seen from above. Sigiria. Here is a splendid place you must definitely add to your list of must-visit places before you die. But not just add it to the list, you should also know how it came to be. The name of this place is Sigiria also known as Lion Rock. It is an ancient rock fortress located in the central Matale region of Sri Lanka. The story of Sigiriya dates back to the 5th century, when King Kasyapa ruled the island. Filled with a desire to secure his power, Kasyapa murdered his father, seized the throne, and sent the rightful heir, his half-brother Mog Alana, into exile. Fearing his return, he built a palace atop the 200-meter-high Sigiriya rock. This palace was not just a defensive structure, it was a magnificent palace adorned with frescoes, landscaped gardens, and advanced hydraulic systems. The most iconic feature of Sigiriya is the massive lion-shaped gateway carved into the rock. This gateway gave the palace the name Lion Rock. Visitors enter through the lion's mouth pass between its paws and climb the rock to reach the palace at the summit. However, Cassiapa's reign did not last long. His actions alienated him from his people and his half-brother Mogalana, having fled to India, returned with an army to reclaim the throne. In the ensuing battle, Cassiapa's forces were defeated and Cassiapa took his own life rather than be captured. Sigiriya may have historical significance 
but its importance lies not only in its architectural marvels, but also in the artistic treasures that adorn its walls. Frescoes, painted in vibrant colors and generally depicting beautiful women, showcase the artistic talent of this period. Today, these frescoes reflect ancient Sri Lankan aesthetics and culture. Stave Church Seeming to spring straight from a fantasy film, this Gothic structure is actually a church, but not just any church. It symbolizes both Christian and pagan beliefs. The reason for this lies in the times of its construction in the 11th and 12th centuries, when Vikings also resided in Norway. Not wishing to abandon their gods upon accepting Christianity, the Vikings used the church as a place of worship for both Christian and pagan beliefs. These churches are mainly made of wood, showcasing a distinctive architecture with a pillar and beam framework. They are famed for their large vertical wooden poles forming the core of the building. These poles support horizontal beams, which in turn form the framework for the church's walls and roof. The walls are usually covered with vertical wooden panels, and the roofs are steeply built, adorned with intricate carvings and dragon head decorations at the peaks. Royston Cave Royston Cave, situated in Royston, Hertfordshire in England, is a remarkable historical site that has perplexed researchers and historians for centuries. This mysterious underground chamber is carved into a soft chalk bed, with its walls adorned with meticulously crafted and enigmatic symbols, religious figures and scenes. The origin and purpose of Royston Cave still retain their mystery. Theories about the cave's use, which dates back to the 14th century, range from a hermitage to a meeting place for knights. The carvings encompass figures reflecting Christian imagery, including saints and angels, along with worldly motifs like armored knights. These diverse carvings have led to speculation that the cave was used for multiple purposes over time. The intent behind the cave's creation continues to spark debate among historians. Some believe it was used for secret religious rituals, while others suggest it as a place of worship or a stop for travelers seeking refuge. The intricate carvings highlight the skill and dedication of the individuals who crafted them, yet their identities remain shrouded in mystery. Royston Cave, over the years, was significantly neglected and even utilized as a storage space. However, recognizing its importance 